Hello, I want to thank you for playing this video. This video is a tutorial on how to find streaming archival 78 RPM disks from the Stanford Library Archive of Recorded Sounds collections. These are disks that have been digitized and preserved within the Stanford Digital Repository and have been released to SearchWorks, which is the Stanford Library catalog. So while catalogs generally are thought of as, or historically thought of at least, as places where you find books within collections, uh, SearchWorks delivers a lot more than that. We have databases. Um, and in this case, we have archival sound recordings that are accessible through SearchWorks. So, this right here, it's searchworks.stanford.edu. It gets you the catalog. And right here, this is sort of the landing page. So what we're going to go ahead and do first is just search uh, with a blank search field. And we have almost 10 million catalog results. Sort of impressive. So what we're going to focus on for here is refining our search with the refine your results sort of menus over here on the left. And so the first place we're going to go is to resource type. And so you can see the wide range of resource types here. And these are actually worth exploring on your own if you have time. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to focus on music recordings, which are right here. We also have sound recording in here. And I think the best way to probably differentiate the two is a music recording is going to be a sound recording that primarily is comprised of music. And a sound recording is going to be a sound recording that's more focused on spoken word in various forms, uh, but it could also include some music. So what we're going to do right here is click on music recording. And so we narrowed our search down to 248,000 and a few results, which is still quite a few <laughs> and can be a little bit um, Again, a little difficult to refine it to 78, sort of find 78 shellac disks we've digitized. So let's go up here to access. I want to go ahead and click online to make sure it's available digitally online. And I reduced it a little bit more. There's still quite a few there. So I'm going to go down to media type, and this is where we're really going to cut it down. So you can see different kinds of media type here, or physical media types here at least. And what we're talking about in this case is 78 RPM. So we're going to click on that. And now we have 270 catalog results. So these all have a little online square here on the left. And this is comprised primarily of items from two different sort of groupings or collections. And we have the ARS Disc Collection 78 right here. And we have the Chuck Black Collection for early jazz and blues. So for this, uh, to see all of these, you need to sort of scroll down or the combination of these two collections, you need to sort of sc scroll down through this uh, search window, um, or search result list, I guess. And um, that'll sort of let you explore that. But there's another way also, and this works specifically for the ARS disk collection, uh, dash 78, which you see right here. So if you actually click on this collection, you sort of get like a nice little digital collection preview right here. And this includes 201 items. Um, and you can see all these disks right here. And so we're going to go ahead and click on this one right here. And here you are. Uh, if you're a Stanford affiliate, you're able to access this with your SUNET ID. And you can click on this button and you'll be able to hear it. You can also click on these little three dots right here. And you can view images of the label for reference. That can be incredibly useful. Um, and of course, you can see some of the catalog information here also. So I'm going to go back here, um, and we do have some other disks in here. Let me click around real fast. There, there are a few um, that aren't released for streaming access, so I'm going to click through. And here's one. So you may get this result, um, and you can contact the Archive of Recorded Sound if you want to hear a recording with this result, and we'll work with you to figure out how to get you, or we know how to get you access, but we'll We'll figure a way to provide you specifically access. Um, and so if you're not a Stanford affiliate, you also will most likely see this image for most of these search results. And so 
what I'm going to suggest you do in that case um, as a non Stanford affiliate um, that gets that result also, or for that matter, a Stanford resilient, uh, affiliate that gets that result, um, you can go ahead and send us an email at soundarchive at stanford.edu and we'll work with you on access. And so hopefully that sort of gave you a shortcut to the specific case of refining your results um, to online streaming archival audio. Um, you can see how if you work with media type over here on the left, you might be able to sort of explore different sort of formats um, and you can work with sound recordings up there. Um, so there's a lot of different ways of sort of refining, uh, refining the list, but in this case, what I've just shown you will get you to the 78. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and hopefully there's more tutorials on the way. Thanks.